to another episode of Smile with Prachi. This is Prachi, and our first letter is coming from Pons. Okay, so Pons says, seriously, you guys have to start giving me suggestions for names. Please write a few name suggestions in the comment section below. So yes, Pons says, hi Prachi, I'm a 24-year-old woman dating a guy who's 23. We've been together for over a month. Prachi, yesterday I met his sister for the first time and noticed something insanely strange. She and my boyfriend are physically so close, it's actually inappropriate. She rubs his thighs so casually. They play footsie under the, under the table. He pulls her by the waist, slapping on the butt. Yes, he slaps his sister on the butt. Just a few of the many things I noticed in our barely two hours of dinner with a short walk in the park. I also found out that they often cuddle and sleep on the same bed, sharing the same blanket. She sometimes gives him chest massages. Well, the list goes on and on. Prachi, I'm not okay with this. And I tried casually pointing this out to my boyfriend, but he seemed a bit offended. So I quickly changed the subject. Sorry, what am I saying? But so I quickly changed the topic. I don't know what to do. He's an amazing guy, but seeing how they behave together makes me sick to my stomach. Please help. Pons, you know, as humans, every once in a while we all judge. You know, we all judge. We have a mind that's capable of thinking in a logical way. It's bound to judge others sometimes. But I would just say one thing over here that give your boyfriend the benefit of doubt and try and see if you can actually change this thing i'll tell you how you can try and do this okay first let me tell you a little bit about this behavior and what are the probabilities i'm just giving you examples because the only frame of reference i have is your letter i have never met your boyfriend i've never met the sister i don't know exactly what's going on but i'm just giving you examples to help you think in different ways this this will help you get started okay Number one, we need to understand that as kids, we all behave in a certain way. And then as grown-ups, we don't behave in that way. The reason why the shift in behavior happens is because of our parents, because of what we observe in the society around us. And also because when we grow up, we start, you know, thinking differently. Maybe some people, they don't change their behavior even as grown-ups because it becomes habit. Okay, so what I'm trying to say over here is that this may not be sexual at all. I'm just saying it may not be. I don't know personally, but it may not be sexual at all. You might want to consider that. And one more thing you need to understand is that maybe this is just something that is so in, in, in their behavior that they don't even realize it. For example, you know, maybe when your boyfriend was a six or a seven year old kid, he slapped his sister's butt just playfully. As six, seven year old kids, we all do all kinds of weird things. You don't even realize. You're just kids, right? He probably slapped his sister's butt and um, his parents were watching, some relatives were watching and they all burst into laughter because they thought it was funny. To the mind of a child, it immediately says that, hey, this is a behavior that gets me appreciation. So let me do this again. And then he does it again. And then he continues doing it till it becomes a habit. The same thing with the sister. It becomes a habit, which continues when they grow up. So it's not sexual. It becomes a habit, which they don't even realize. Now, obviously, this is something that is not comfortable for you. And you say that this makes you sick to your stomach. Once you have established that this is nothing sexual, once you have established that this is purely out of habit, which has been created for whatever reason, try and see how you can change him make him change his behavior without offending him here's a really nice psychological trip that you can use for multiple times in your life when you want to convince somebody of something which is a very delicate matter you need to engage in a conversation so that it comes from them you don't tell them that hey i want you to change this behavior you make them say it you make them think that this is coming from their mind okay so sit down with your boyfriend and just say my god you and your sister have such an amazing relationship i bet 
this makes people around you very jealous your boyfriend will probably just jump at it and say yes it does make people jealous and then he'll probably give you some examples you can ask him to give you examples of how it made somebody jealous you know how some aunt keeps saying that you should not be so touchy feely with your sister just make him talk about those things once he starts talking about these things that's when you ask him but why do you think your aunt says that do you think it gives a weird impression to people who are really narrow minded you make him feel that you're on his side and you're trying to see things from the perspective of a third person gradually your boyfriend will come to terms with what the third person is saying through you without realizing and it will make him feel like it is his decision to not continue behaving this way anymore slightly complicated this may take a couple of talks but believe me it's the most effective way of you know making people realize their mistakes without offending them um the next letter is coming from lakme lakme says hi prachi so my story is your everyday bollywood movie boy and girl love each other but belong to different religions and the family won't agree we have been fighting with his parents my parents are cool for the last one year and they have agreed to a marriage while this should be a thing to celebrate his mother has come up with a list of things she needs me to do to become worthy of their family she wants me to give up eating non vegetarian food and swear only to wear traditional indian clothes i need to come home by 8 pm daily failing which i might be asked to quit my job Also I will not be allowed to follow my religion or celebrate my religious festivals after the wedding. My boyfriend says that he doesn't mind if I eat non-veg or wear western clothes while we are traveling and he and his parents are not around. He says he will try to work out the curfew time, but he cannot get me permission to celebrate my festivals at all. So I can't meet my parents on the special occasions ever. Prachi a lot of people are telling me that her demands are not much. because in the indian society daughter in laws are ex- are supposed to leave everything behind when they enter a new family are they correct am i demanding too much from life by expecting his mother to not put even a few restrictions on me me and my boyfriend are 29 dating almost since 2 years dating since almost 2 years pons uh before i move to your problem by the way guys i'm sorry about the light in the background uh it was getting very noisy outside so i had to close the door So, uh, Pons, now going to your problem. Quite honestly, see, there are a lot of things that you need to think about right now. A lot of really thing, important things that you need to discuss with your boyfriend before you get married. These are some things that you need to sort out because this is a big problem. In the long run, this will be a very big problem. Trust me when I say this. So, the first thing that comes to my mind after reading your letter is that obviously there are two schools of thoughts. one is where women are genuinely okay with making these adjustments they think it's not a big deal because they grew up in an environment where they are told that you know after you get married you forget your parents you're supposed to only uh you know have your new family as your priority after you get married you're not supposed to wear western clothes so these girls they often grow up believing that it's fine and they uh, are happy to make these compromises and they probably even end up having great lives Okay nothing wrong with that because if that's what you believe and if that's what's working for you it's really your call who am i to judge but if you're a modern day feminist something like me you might actually find this offensive you might find this degrading that they would regard your religion as something of a crime and you might ask a question that who are you to decide what i should wear and what i should eat it's my basic right as a human being Right now it's very important for you to be honest with yourself. You need to ask yourself that how you genuinely feel inside. If you're angry, be angry. If you're happy, it's okay. Don't go by what the people are saying. Okay? Number 1. Number 2, you need to have a very serious conversation with your boyfriend because trust me this is not over. This is not these few rules that have come up are not going to be the only rules. There will be more rules, there will be more restrictions and there might even be some mean comments about your religion about your past about your family background okay 
how okay are you with tolerating that and how does your boyfriend plan to handle it in future quite honestly you know i do feel bad for the men also in these cases i mean to be stuck between a wife and a mother is such a bad bad situation to be in for these poor men but what to do you are the one who's actually stuck in a bigger way so he has to fight for you he has to stand up for you because i know you guys have been in a relationship for 2 years and obviously you have something really special going on because of which you fought for such a long time but marriages are a lot more than just spending time with your loved one it's about being at peace with yourself it's about having a life which makes you feel content it's about living with your dignity your respect and your individuality which also allows you to grow as a person and be happy and if that's missing a marriage in spite of all the love cannot work out cannot work out okay so keep this in mind and take the right decision for yourself and all the very best okay so guys that's all that i wanted to share in today's video thank you so much for watching and uh, yes thank you so much for writing your letters i know i haven't been responding to a lot of letters of late the last one week has been a little bit busy uh i'm trying to definitely keep up if you're sending me emails please check your email as well because sometimes i do respond to emails directly and uh, let me know if you have anything to share with my writers thanks for watching guys have a great saturday this is me prachi signing off now